Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be working with a logarithmic expression. We're given 6 log a equals 4 log b equals 3 log c. By the way, these logs are all in base 10 because they were not written. And we're supposed to evaluate log c with base ab, which is the product of a and b. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my fir first method and second method is pretty much going to start the same way. I'm going to be setting all of these equal to another variable. So let's set these equal to x. Now from here, by setting everything equal to x, we can isolate log a, log b and log c separately. So log a is going to be x over 6, log b is going to be x over 4, and log c is going to be x over 3. Great, so I got everything in terms of x, and I'm supposed to evaluate log c with base ab. So in order to manipulate this, I don't want a, b, I don't want the base to be a product, but rather the argument to be a product. So I'm going to go ahead and invert this. By using properties of logs, uh, I can write this. In other words, if you have log m with base n, you, and you have log n with base m, they're reciprocals. Basically, this is what the property says. But now, a, b can be broken down. Because if you have the log of a product, by the way, I can put that in parentheses if that's confusing to you. Then I can just write this as log A plus log B. Both of them are going to be in the same base, of course. Right? Great. Now, what can I do with this? So here's what I can do. I know that log A is equal to x over 6. So I can go ahead and turn it into an exponential equation. Let's go ahead and do that here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and write this log a equals x over 6. By using definition of logarithms, the base is 10, remember. I can write this as a equals 10 to the power x over 6. Make sense? Similarly, I can write b equals 10 to the power x over 4, and c equals 10 to the power x over 3. So I wrote each one of these as exponentials because I want to plug them in here. Let's go ahead and substitute. Now, obviously, uh, you want to do a little bit of uh, an expression here. So, for example, if log A with base C is equal to M, again, I'm using substitution here, a lot of substitution, then from here I can write C to the power M equals A. This is where I use my exponentials. So, replace C with 10 to the power X over 3, raise it to the power m, and replace a with 10 to the power x over 6. This is going to allow me to find m. Let's go ahead and multiply the exponents and set them equal to each other. mx over 3 equals x over 6. Obviously, x does not equal 0 uh, as long as a, b, c are not equal to 1. If they are, then obviously this is not going to work because you don't want 1 uh, as a base. So they're different from 1. So x cancels out, and we end up with m equals 1 half. All right? So m equals 1 half. Let's go ahead and save that result. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with b and c. So if log b with base c is equal to n, from here I can write c to the power n equals b by using definition again. And now I can replace c with this and b with that. Let's go ahead and do it. 10 to the power x over 3. You know, like that. 10 to the power x over 3 to the power n equals b, which is 10 to the power x over 4. And from here, similarly, we can find n. We can just write this as nx over 3 equals x over 4. x does not equal 0. We know that. So that cancels out, and n becomes 3 fourths. Great. So we got the value of m and n. What am I going to do with this, right? Well, remember, m was log 
A with base C and N was log B with base C. And that's what I have in, in the numerator or denominator. So we can go ahead and write this down again one more time. 1 over log C and this should be so here. Let me rewrite it. So I started off with log C with base AB. Then I wrote it as 1 over log AB with base C. And then I broke it down into log A plus log B, both with base C. And now I have these values. This is uh, M and this is N. So, and we have the values M and N, so this becomes 1 over 1 half plus 3 fourths. But 1 half is 2 fourths, so that's going to give you 5 fourths. If you reverse it or flip it, you're going to get 4 fifths as the answer. All right, great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Now the second method, again, starts off with the same thing, same idea, but then will proceed differently. So 6 log A equals 4 log B equals 3 log C. And this time, let's go ahead and set them equal to K. From here, we get log A is equal to K over 6. Log B is equal to K over 4, like before and log c is equal to k over 3. Now, to make things easier on ourselves, of course, the first method is a little bit more painful, we're going to use change of base formula. We can now turn this into base 10, so write this as log c over log ab. And then, of course, log ab can be broken down into log a plus log b. Now, we can go ahead and do the replacements. Replace log c with k over 3 log a with k over 6 and log b with k over 4. If you make a common denominator and add these two fractions, you're going to get 5k over 12 and then k is going to cancel out. When you flip and multiply, one third multiplies by, multiply by 12 over 5 is going to give you 4 over 5. And that's going to be the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. By the way, if you do know a third method to do this problem, uh, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, I couldn't really think of an alternative solution here, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to come up with something smart and quick and, you know, uh, just let us know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to uh, read your solutions. And thank you very much again. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye-bye.